what would you change about this sport? If you could go back in college football and I challenged you, change something that would have a massive, far-reaching impact on the rest of the sport then and in the future, what would it be? And I had Yogi Roth, actually, from Pac-12 Network come at me and say, here's one. What if that moment where we instituted the college football playoff just never happened? What if that never went down? And I got to thinking about it, and I almost didn't put it in the show, but then the more I thought about it, the more I said, absolutely, that's got to go in the show. Now, it happened in 2014. The first year of the playoff was 2014. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago, and I said that all-SEC championship game in 2011 was probably the impetus for us getting the playoff when we got it. Would we have gotten it anyway? I tend to believe yes, but I don't know that for sure. So let's just say in this alternate universe we're allowed to play in because it's February. We don't get the playoff. We never get the playoff. Off the top of my head, we've had three national champions that did not finish number one or number two. So we we got three of them. 2014 Ohio State, the first year we had a playoff. They were the four seed. They won the championship. 2017 Alabama, four seed, won the championship. 2021 Georgia three seed won the championship now initially when we took on this exercise I thought to myself "Ooh, if we entertain this I think it's going to cost Alabama some championships but the more I think about it the more I think Alabama would have netted more titles if we didn't have a playoff and the reason is because even though in 2017 they snuck in and ended up winning the whole thing 2014 Ohio State beat Bama in the semifinal. If Ohio State's not there, if it's just Bama, Oregon, or, or Bama, FSU, whoever it would have been, Bama probably wins that title. They'll certainly be favored to win that title. So you may have another title for them in 14. And in 2021, Bama beats Georgia in Atlanta. Georgia's out. If we don't have a playoff, Georgia's out. So Bama may have won it in 2021. Who knows how that would have worked out. I will tell you that a lot of people would be mad. You know, I, I remember even thinking this when we instituted the playoff. I remember thinking that we would come to the end of every season and some people would be mad, inevitably, because your team got left out and you had a really good season and you finished third or fourth or what have you. And yeah, uh, people got mad. Where I differed from a lot of folks is I didn't think that was the worst thing in the world. People don't get mad about things they don't care about. You know, so... I took the, the anger in the room, which always eventually subsided, as a means to indicate that, wow, we are maximizing the passion in this sport right now. People being mad was never the worst thing in the world. People being ambivalent, people being apathetic about the majority of bowl season, people opting out of games that weren't playoff games, that is far worse to me than people just being mad. Don't worry, though. It'll all be solved with a 12-team playoff. Don't worry, I'm not going down that road tonight. But I, I started to think if we didn't ever go to the four-team model, people always would have been mad. But no one that I know ever got mad at the outcome of a season and then they left. No one tuned out of college football. No one did. I would argue far more people have tuned out because of the byproducts and the, I guess, consequences of the new model than ever tuned out with the old model, like Auburn fans think they got screwed out of a shot to play for a title in 2004. Not a single one of them ever tuned out. Not a single one of them. But you fast forward a few years and, and half your team's opting out of a bowl game because it's not a playoff game, that's more likely to make someone lose interest in college football. That's at least my opinion on that. Now, those of us around here, we're not going to stop watching either way, and they know it. They know it. But I started thinking, okay, what if we don't have a four-team playoff? Sure, we'd have some anger and people would yell at each other. Then we'd have bowl season. Then we'd have the national championship game, just like we always did in the BCS. And we'd crown a champion and we'd go into the next year and the sport would continue to grow because that's what it already was doing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. In the aggregate, would anyone have ever started using phrases like meaningless regular season games? Would anyone have started using phrases like meaningless bowl games? For that matter, would we have bowl opt-outs? Because remember, that wasn't a thing a generation ago. That really it didn't exist. It only existed when we got the playoff and then the huge marketing mechanism was employed behind that playoff and the 
Who's In Era was born, for which ESPN has eventually atoned and apologized and realized the error of their ways, and I give them full credit for that, but you can't erase history, obviously. And so you started to beat it in the minds of the fans and of players that these games mean more, therefore those games mean less, and eventually people start saying things like, well, those bowl games are meaningless, and all of a sudden the players can't blame them. They started listening. And they said, well, if you guys don't seem to care about these bowl games anymore and you're calling them meaningless, I'm not going to risk my health in there. I'm going to opt out. We didn't make the playoffs. I'm going to opt out. No one did that before. And I wonder, would we have still sort of moved in that direction? Would players have opted out regardless? I don't know that we would have gotten to that point. Who knows? But it's always fun to speculate. I will, I will say this, though. I think that there is a growing number of people. Because I, I do this periodically. I run a poll and I asked, all things known now, would you rather have what we have now or would you rather go back to the BCS era? And a little while ago, people scoffed at that notion. No, no, don't ever take me back to the BCS era. At least we have some kind of postseason format now. But then we got a little deeper into it and people started to realize you don't just get the playoff without having consequences to the playoff. And I don't care if you extend it to 12, you're still going to have that. And I think a lot of people started to realize, boy, I miss what bowl season used to mean. And, and I, you know, this dude who wears a white T-shirt every other night of the week on YouTube, he starts talking about how college football season is supposed to work from the inside out, regular season first, as opposed to pro sports that work from backwards to front. And boy, man, those Saturdays in the fall. You know, that, that, that is pretty special. I, I do feel a different way about regular season college football than I do about the regular season of any other sport. Maybe that's not the craziest thing in the world. And, and that comes from some folks who support playoff expansion. But even in the back of their minds, I've noticed more and more at least, some of them have said, there's, there's something to that. You may not have swayed me, but there's something to that. I don't know where we would have gone. I, I, I still think we eventually would have expanded, even if we didn't in 2014, but whomst knows thanks for watching guys don't leave yet don't leave yet make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel not just for me that's how we keep this entire thing free